Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Amy. Today I have a washi tape shop unboxing and creative journal plan with me. So we are going to take a look at everything that they sent me. Thank you so much to washi tape shop. You can use my code, which I'll put right here. If you choose to shop, it'll save you 10% in their store. So I have some really cool stuff. They have for the first time ever come out with some pre-cut washi tape. So in the past, as you know, you've had to cut it out using your own little craft tool or scissors or something like that. Um, they had some washi tapes that were like sticker sets, but now they have some pre-cut like on the pet tape and everything too. So super cool. But some of these are those, some of these aren't. So let's just take a look at everything they sent and then we'll figure out what to use from there. All right, let's open up the big one first. This is a set and it looks like that, so cute. All right, so this one is not going to be pre-cut because it is the Baroque Lace Pet Tape Set. So it's all these different colors of lace and I am gonna save this little piece so that I can make sure that I link all of them for you in the description in case you choose to shop. All of these are available now and there is the back to school sale which just started. All the details will be below. I think you might be able to save more than my code but it is appreciated if you use my link since it helps me out at no extra cost to you even if you use the sale code look at this washi this is so pretty oh my gosh i love that okay so that one's a black one this one's white and this one is like a medium brown. It's very like vintagey. I do like this one is pre-cut in that it ha you don't have to trim off the edge of it. It's already like trimmed. This one's a green, like an olivey green. Super cute. And this one's like a pink or something here you can see that pretty well there okay these are really cute all right and you get quite a bit of it for the set so that's pretty cool let's just put them here are they gonna start rolling into me probably okay lots more washi tape to look at this is the pre-cut lily of the valley wide pet tape so I'm going to save that label too. And let's go ahead and take a look. I love how they package these because it's just like opening a little present when you uh, open it up. Let's see. There's usually a piece of tape holding it together. Yeah. And these ones usually have a lot a lot a lot of pieces before it repeats so let's see it's gonna go all the way up to the heart that says positive still not there yet all right all the way to here so all of this before it repeats uh oh i've lost my washi <laughs> okay but this is a lot of design and these ones are pre-cut. So let's see how that works. If I can pick it up, see, that just comes straight up, but I don't want to pick it up right now because I want to keep it where it belongs until I decide to use this one. All right, let's see, what else do we have? This one is the Dreamy Merlot Wide Pet Tape. So this one is not pre-cut because the ones that are pre-cut 
say so on them. Oh, this color is gorgeous. It's got these like whites and beige florals with the Merlot kind of red. Oh, there are butterflies too, cute. Okay, and then it repeated about here. So again, you get so much before it repeats. All right, what do I want to use? This one is really cute, we'll see. Okay. I also am kind of obsessed with these tapes over here. Let's see what these all are, because some of these may go together. Autumn, summer, perfumed reveries, spring, the big apple, seasons passing. Okay, these ones are all pre-cut. This one is not. So I have a summer, an autumn, and a spring. There might be a winter, which I didn't receive. Then there's a big apple one. I think there are some other places as well, maybe. Um, yeah, okay, so seasons passing wide pet tape. Okay, so while this isn't pre-cut, it's like boxes, so it's super easy. These are gorgeous. These would be perfect in my plan or in my um creative journal for really easy decorations. Wow. Okay, so it's the one with the door when it repeats. So let's go all the way. This one. This is where it repeats. So you get a bunch of different images. This is so pretty. <laughs> Takes a while to roll them back up, you guys. <laughs> okay. Now... Let's do this one. This is the Big Apple one. So New York themed. these little birds. Okay. There are quotes and different landmarks. Look at the taxi. Oh, that's a cool skyline. <laughs> a menu. <laughs> All right. And then it repeats there. But that's pretty cute. You could also use a lot of these things for a really fun spread that don't have to do with New York City. You could do like a food themed thing. You could use the park bench for something. Okay, let's do the perfumed reveries. So this is also pre-cut. Okay, so there are some dots on here, some florals, and these are just really cute. Okay, so that's the one we're looking for. How far does this go? This far. This is where it repeats. But that's really, really pretty, you guys. Okay.
All right, now here are some of the seasonal ones. So this one's the summer one. It's just a whole bunch of summery scenes. Oh my goodness. Okay. So it goes to here. That's really pretty. Oh no, run away. <laughs> This one's the Autumn Symphony Wide Pet Tape. Okay, let's see. Looking for the red barn. All right, all the way to here. I cannot wait to get to these ones. These are gorgeous. I love this one. All right, this is amazing. I love the washi tape shop, but now that it's pre-cut, I'm even more excited. I hope they start doing this with more of their washi tapes because that is a total game changer. All right, then this one's the spring one. I need to find out if there's a winter one because I will totally order it just to have the full set. <laughs> okay. I see some purple. What's the purple? <laughs> Okay, so we're looking for the house with the little windmill thing in the back. Right here. Look at that sunset. That is so cute. This one is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Love, love, love. Okay, so I'm going to take a minute and think about which one I want to start with um, to use first for this creative journal spread and then gather any supplies that I need to go along with it. All right, I decided to use a couple different things. I'm gonna use the spring pre-cut pet tape, the spring awakening, and then I'm going to use this one, which, what was it called? Perfumed Reveries. I think the color of the flowers will work well with some of the stickers in here. Then since there's like green and there's some dark green trees, I thought this green Baroque tape would also look really nice. So we're gonna go ahead and use those. And all right, this was the last spread I decorated. I've already posted this video. This was using all supplies from Stationery Pal. So I'll link that video right here if I remember. If not, just go back. It's one of the most recent videos I have. But let's create one using these items. And let me think. Since these are coming up like this, why don't we do like a horizontal Dutch door this time instead of the vertical ones? I haven't done that in a while. Yeah. Okay, so I am just going to lay this out so I can look at it. I also have all my mild liners here so that I can use whatever I need once I start adding colors in. So let's just open this up and make sure my idea is going to work. Just going to look at all these things. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Let's just... Yeah, that'll work well. So this will be the middle Dutch door in between the two that we make. And so I want the houses to be on the back Dutch door so that... Oh, let's see, you can't even see them. <laughs> 
I want the houses to be on the back Dutch door so that um, they're smaller than these. So it's like the flowers are going to be closer, even though it's not going to be an exact thing. <laughs> but so we're going to put flowers down here and I think I'll just put them all the way across for like how it's going to look and then go from there. Let's see. I think I wonder does this one go nicely with it? I think that'll match pretty well. So what I'm gonna do actually is cut enough for this and then I wanna use half of it. <laughs> Can I just like, I don't know if I wanna use half of it. Okay. We're thinking this through. We might use this one too because the colors kind of match as well. But I'm gonna lay down some stickers here because we're gonna cut the Dutch door. Let's see, this is gonna go at the top and I think then this one, yeah, we'll go like here. So we're just gonna start taking flowers and laying them across. If I can pick them up. <laughs> They're pre-cut, but I'm trying to keep them from them like falling all over the place, but maybe I just need to put them in a different place. <laughs> all right, here it goes. It still is way easier than cutting it out myself. <laughs> right, we said about there, we want to have enough room to still do my journaling for the day. All right, and I'm not gonna do the ones in baskets right now because I want the ones that aren't in baskets to make a little garden scene. And we're gonna use all these dots later to pull things together. Um, I think with some of the journaling sections that I create. Like when I'm drawing in my lines and my boxes and things. Okay, so this we're just gonna have come over and I need to decide how I'm gonna do this page. So I'm gonna leave that be while I create the Dutch doors and then I'll um, figure out if I'm gonna continue all the way across or not. We'll see. Okay, so first let's get my little cutting board and cut this out. This is a gyro cut, I love it. I have it linked down below. It does have a learning curve. It's only one page. Um, it does have a learning curve, but as you can see, it still cuts pretty fast and I don't have to use any of my, um, you don't have to use any of my scissors and be constantly turning the page back and forth. All right, my husband just called, but now I'm back <laughs> and we're gonna finish cutting this out so we can create our Dutch doors. But yeah, I love this tool. It has a learning curve, but it's way faster than fussy cutting using scissors, to me at least. I have heard that some people have problems when they buy a knockoff one. So make sure you either buy it from the actual gyro cut website or from the link um, that I post because you don't want a knockoff one. All right, and I have just a little piece right there. Very good. All right, and then, this part, I usually just get my little scissors and cut as close as I can without cutting the little strings and attachments of the page. <laughs> so we'll have a little bit of stuff here when you're cutting this way, um, but it still looks pretty cool. All right, we will try to fill in the back as well may or may not succeed on that. 
All right, so next up, we're just gonna put this lace down and I think it'll look good if we keep it more even. So let's do it upside down here. Ah, I just knocked over all my pens. <laughs> We're gonna pause in a moment. Let's see how that looks. Let's put it up a little higher. I'm gonna have to save all my pens in a moment. Yeah, that's better. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna save all my pens. <laughs> So this also makes cutting this one way easier. It does have these little bumps, but they're so tiny. I'm just gonna make sure I'm cutting one and then I'm just gonna use my scissors and cut straight across. It's, this one's also really easy for the Dutch door. So you don't have to fussy cut or gyro cut anything on this page. This is the easier way to do it. All right. And now lastly, we're going to try to get a nice little scene in here. Oh, I just had an idea of using only the purple ones and making them all kind of lay across. Do I want to do that? Okay, we're gonna do something. Yeah. Uh, how many do I have? One, do I have at least three just in case? Yes, okay, there's definitely like four or five of them. Okay, so it does have this little daffodil right there that may require like a little help. Uh, I want to put it up higher. I want it to go all the way up to the top. So we'll trim off the little top of it. Okay, there's a little daffodil. I'm just gonna cut that little piece because it's gonna have trouble going over <laughs> all the little cuts right here. Okay, so we're gonna see if we can make this kind of line up to make a little scene. Because the purple with those purple flowers would be awesome to just have it come across. So if I put it like this, does it look wild and crazy? Got a little green stuck in there. Just pulling that up. I think that looks pretty good. That looks so cute, you guys. Okay, so we're gonna put the other one in. It's only gonna be part of it. So we'll put the rest of it back down on the washi tape because I don't want to waste it. Okay, so we've got that, that looks pretty good, but I would like to put like a house or something in here too. So let's grab something. It's nice because you can layer all of these and it just looks really cool. Trying to decide which one. I'm kind of gearing on thinking about this one. That fence is really cute too. Okay, um, I have entirely too much stuff out right now. Um, I need to roll this back up. trying to decide where to put it. 
because it won't pop up too much unless I bring it up higher, but then it kind of gets rid of the field. So, but it's gonna be really pretty for this page. Maybe I even put it down here. Okay, and this is driving me wild right now. So let's just roll this back up a little bit and figure out what can go next to it once I get this contained again. Oh my gosh, it's so much. Okay. And now we can look at it. I can put another tree in, a bush. This little patch, yeah. Okay, let's put a little bush and that little patch in. I think that'll be nice. the bush. Okay, and then I think this little tree is going to be perfect to kind of fill that space. We're not going to fill every little gap, but I think that'll look pretty cool. And then look at that, you can kind of see stuff coming up top, but it doesn't all completely like make one big scene, but they all kind of go together, which is nice. Okay, so we're done with this one for now, unless we decide to put some over here, which we might do. So let's go ahead and close this up just again for some space. <laughs> okay, and let's grab the green like we had here and just put it on this side as well. It doesn't want to lay down on the line. Sometimes it's easier to go this way. And we'll have to trim right over there. Okay. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, something else here. I like it here, but I don't like it next to that. Maybe we'll continue the scene over. Let's decide. So guys, I forgot to press play. I had to pause for a second and I forgot to start filming again. So let me show you what I've done really quick. Um, first, I had put this down on this side and did not like the way it came up to here. So I decided to continue the design on this page all the way over. Um, so there's that. <laughs> then I have this down and I finished getting this side down and I was just about to put some green across the bottom too to kind of pull this together. So we're gonna do that and then decide what to do on the first page. But I can't believe I forgot to press start or it stopped filming or something. So, woohoo. Um, but I want to make this 
you know, like the top side is, or at least see if that's going to work because I want to make sure that it pulls it together because I really like this green tape. I think that'll be okay. I like it. I'll add a couple of flowers over here with one of the boxes to kind of pull it together. Um, I'm going to be using highlighter like I normally do to create my own boxes and lines for writing on. So I think I'll be able to make it, you know, cohesive. Okay. I do have to trim a little bit because there's just a little bit of the clear tape over the edge. And now I'm like paranoid that I'm not filming. <laughs> so I'm probably going to keep standing up and checking that it's still going. <laughs> My phone isn't out of space or anything. So it must have been human error. All right, so there we go on that. That looks super cute. I love the green. Okay, whoops. And here we are. I want to bring in some more lace, but add some other colors in. So I think I'm gonna put the pink all the way across the bottom as well here. I think that'll look really nice. Okay, but I have to get it so that it goes straight, you guys. Okay. How's that? Or is that too much? Mm hmm. I think it's too much. Let's see if we can bring it up. <laughs> Luckily, this tape all comes up really nicely. So we're just going to roll that one back up and start decorating this page, which I think what we need to do for consistency is get something from here, like down here, I need some decoration here. I think, I think we need these florals up here. So we see those florals on this side, maybe with a little bit of green washi sticking out actually. Um, so just a, like one line above where that is. Okay, so we are gonna put down, as I'm fumbling through this idea in my head, we are gonna put down these first and then put down this on top or maybe we use all the small ones okay we're just gonna go for it and it's gonna work positive thoughts you guys positive thoughts ripping. If I can keep it kind of in a line um, on the bottom, then I can put the washi tape upside down like the other one. Or maybe it'll fit with the going upwards with those. I don't think so though. Okay. That is so cute though. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, one more, I think. And I think coming down this way again because of that. So gosh, I just love these pre-cut pet tapes. 
They are so great. Okay. Am I still filming? Yep. <laughs> okay, let's trim all of this away. Now, I do have an extra piece of the green still sitting over here that I had used. So, and it's the right size. So we could go down like this. We could have it go up like that. Let's just like pull it over and see. If we do that though, I'd want it to kind of line up a little bit let's just go this way it comes up so easily let's just go this way for a minute that's gonna be barely up that actually doesn't look bad like that Ooh. okay so i'm just gonna try to get it nicely into this little thing right there so it's not gonna stick up at all and trim off that tiny little bit. I don't mind that little line at all. The one thing, well, first of all, this one keeps coming up. I'm gonna tape that down with like stickier tape. Hopefully, good, that stays shut. I'm gonna grab some um, purple Distress Ink and put it in right there. Kind of like fluff the edge. Right here are my inks. I've got stuff everywhere. Oh my gosh. Now I'm inked with this seedless preserves color. Okay, let's see. I think that's going to be close. So let's try that and see what happens. There's no going back on this. So this is just something we'll have to keep forever if we put in here it won't come up like stickers so we're gonna try it right here that's pretty close so let's go for it just to pull it together a little bit more and the cool thing is it's going over the sticker too but it doesn't really stick to the sticker so uh i can wipe up that in a minute and we're just gonna fill in the gaps because we're doing that <sighs> that actually helped so much you guys okay oh my god i love it now i liked it before but now i <laughs> love it <laughs> okay that was great um I am just inked. We'll wash my hands in a minute. Okay, so that looks great. This looks fun. This looks fun. We need to create some boxes and then put a couple more things in. Let's just pick out some pens that match. I have so many things in here. <laughs> Lip gloss, erasers, mild liners of so many colors let's see so that's gonna be good that's gonna be good but we also want to get some of the other stuff in i like this light blue i also might like my olive green if i can find it It might be a little too light though. Let me think on that as we do some other items and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we'll leave this one here. We are gonna use some dots <laughs> as we do this. So let's start with the purple on this side because there isn't as much. And we will 
gonna start with a spot for the date. And put that in. And this in. And we're just gonna have washi tape everywhere again. There's one flower in here that I want. It's here. That's gonna go perfectly with it with all the purple. I'm not sure I love the purple right next to the green, but it's too late. We're, we're doing it. so cute. Okay, so fixing this up and then we're gonna draw some lines going this way for writing in and we'll put a box in here somewhere or a couple of boxes. Let's put a box here and have it go all the way down and I think just lines on the other side. Okay, and then, oh my gosh, then with it, because I did put some dots down and something else, I feel like I do need some more dots on this page. So we're going to do like pink over here and kind of like the two dots next to each other. And then can I put, since we're doing florals, Go ahead and put this little floral patch in there too, just uh, over the dots. All right, so then usually I go on to the next page before I do all the lines, but just so you see kind of how this all comes together, then I like to outline the box. And what do I want to do here? Let's do stitching. So I do the outside with just straight lines. And then I'll do stitching down the middle. So like this. And it just adds a little fun, like, I don't know, a flair that you get to add yourself with your own hand and everything. And I think that's super fun. Okay. I feel like I do want to get the green in here, I think, because I just want to add more so this lace isn't as out of place. And I think that's fine. Yeah. So we're going to put it on this one just to pull it together and then we'll do blue on the next page. Yeah. Okay. So we'll add the box for the date over there, because I can. So this one kind of has the same format as the other one. On the other side, didn't necessarily mean for that to happen, but hey, it does happen, that's okay. Maybe we don't use the pink one, so we get more of these lighter shades. All right, so then we do need some more dots. We haven't done the blue yet. I think that'll look better than the yellow one on this. <laughs>
That one wouldn't look as good. Let's do this one. If I can pick it up. <laughs> there we go. cute okay so again we'll do our lines and I'm just gonna make a match so this one's gonna be lines like this and the other one's gonna have stitching on it and I'm just gonna go around all the stickers if anything's poking out so like a little dash there oops I'm doing this one a little different I'm dashing on the line instead of on the inside that's okay too late we're doing it. Which way do you guys like better? Since we've done this, let me know. I think I like this one better, but I don't know. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this one really doesn't need anything extra. Like the dots and stuff. It's got enough going on, but we can put some over here. So let's put the date. Eh, right here is good for this one. And this one's going to have no boxes because it's already so thin. I don't really want to take up the space to create the boxes. And oh my God, that line was not straight. <laughs> oh well. You can use a ruler if you want to, but I find my rulers sometimes get residue on them and then uh, smear. All right, that looks pretty cute. So let's, for just consistency for the for this one to look really nice, we're gonna use the green. Uh, I don't think the purple will do as well with that one. The purple is gonna look beautiful on the next page though. All right, there's our date spot. Let's draw a box here ahead of time. And another one right under this box. Let's finish that box. Okay, and we'll see if we can get this to all line up. I don't know if I lined it up correctly, but we are going with it all perfect. I think I did. All right, so now let's get something in maybe even like a house. But first, okay, again, not the yellow dots. Let's do the pink dots. I like pink and green. those and then I think this house is gonna look really cute in there because it's all green I think that's fun okay so do I want it down or do I want it just in the middle I think in the middle but not completely covering that one dot that I put down So sometimes it's really fun to challenge yourself by putting things together that maybe don't necessarily go together. Um, like all three of these things, there are definitely stickers from each of these pet tapes that wouldn't match, but I think uh, they're pretty fun together.
okay. And this is a lot of color, which I love. Oh my goodness. This might be my favorite page so far. Okay, and now we're gonna go back to purple. So here's our purple. Here's our spot for the date. Let's go ahead and get a box right here. All the way down to the bottom. And we'll go this way with the rest of it. Okay, so with this one, let's put the yellows in, because why not? And because this one has all of these ones on it, let's put one of the flower pots in here instead, because we haven't used any flower pot sticker yet. So let's just go ahead and grab this one. And pick up the tape. <laughs> I think here and I think actually across the page will help bring it all together again. But you see here, a little bit is cut off from either the edge of the sticker or the next piece over. So I'm just going to trim that with my gyro cut so it doesn't look like a weird edge. That looks better. Okay. So because I did decorate two creative journal spreads today, I probably won't start filling this one out until, you know, a week into August or so, but I'm getting a little ahead because we have an August vacation at some point. So I'm trying to have enough pages done that I can go on vacation and have all my journaling ready to go. Okay, so this one, let's go ahead and put over here and this is not gonna line up with the boxes on the other side but that's okay that sometimes happens Mine was also not straight, you guys. That's okay. I can always turn the journal around, but I really didn't feel like doing that, but maybe I should have. We're gonna put something there. That one bugs me, but okay. Let's see, first. I'm gonna get, I think just a single circle there and add in a flower on top. That's so cute, you guys. Okay, and then let's see what we've got here that will go with these. I think just something like half something like this or something. Not the red barn, that's really not gonna match. 
pink would match that pink over there. But I kind of like the idea of this one. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that in the middle of it. See if I cut hard enough. Yeah. that is coming up over the edge. All right. Oops. All righty. it's so cute you guys okay I love it uh I will clean all that up in a minute I'm gonna show you what we're working with and then clean up on my own you don't need to sit there while I do that <laughs> okay so this is what we've got look at this it is a little shiny so I'm trying to make it so you can see all of it at once and then goes like this so it definitely is not one giant scene with this lace in here but I think it it is so pretty I love that I added the purple in there I think that looks so nice okay that is everything reminder I have codes and links down below and if you choose to shop thanks so much for using those and I'll see you all in the next video thanks bye